So Jeff, where are you from? Uh, Michigan, Clare, Michigan. And how long have you been working on uh, woven wire pieces? Uh, I've been doing it for 20 years uh, or more, but uh, as far as on a large scale, the last 10 years or so. And other than elk, what other kind of large animals have you created? Oh, uh, I've done a lot of horses, Friesian horses, draft horses, um, moose, uh, buffalo. So a lot, of, a lot of large animals. I like to do large animals. Where could we see your work? Uh, Devil's Rope Studio, uh, www.Devil's Rope Studio. The more current stuff is on my Facebook page by the same name, Devil's Rope Studio. And Devil's Rope, what does that mean? Well, the old timers called barbed wire Devil's Rope because it would just jump up and grab you and, and poke you. So they call it Devil's Rope. So I thought that was pretty cool since that's what I work with. And so I just named my studio Devil's Rope Studio. And this is all barbed wire? Yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> actually, the inner layers is actual barbed wire and then i come around on the top with barbless wire so it's the same same type of wire uh, but then i tie it all in so it kind of looks like barb on the outside but it's it's actually barbless so you can actually pet him <laughs> and then now the antlers though are obviously not bob wire right right they're out of scrap steel uh most of it's 16 gauge scrap steel just small little pieces and then i uh weld them together and and i shape it as i go so so this is all hand hand shaped yeah hand, everything hand is hand shaped it, it, body all the way up is hand wow. shaped. Yeah. and about how many hours would you have in a piece like this easily 100 hours i don't keep track of my time but i know that's at least 100 hours into it. So. and and being woven wire it seems like there's a lot of space inside so how about what would this weigh He'll weigh a couple hundred pounds, you know. He's got probably uh, a little over half a mile of wire in him. So, but then he's got a good heavy frame, you know, armature inside. And then the antlers are, are pretty heavy. <laughs> well, he's, he's going to have a nice home here, and it'll be appreciated by thousands of visitors. And we thank you for uh, bringing your art well, to Jester Park. I thank you for giving me the opportunity. This is a beautiful facility. So. Thanks, Jeff. All right, thank you.